Hey, welcome to the vlog. Today we're going to be talking about tongue lashing. I know we heard a lot about not using your tongue or your words to hurt people, but we're going to be talking about using that power in your tongue. We're going to be talking about harnessing that energy so that you can become a formidable force in the galaxy and that you will be unstoppable. Well, not really. You see, we were created like God in God's image and his likeness. One of the meanings of likeness is that we share God's character in many different ways and many things that he will do, we will do as well. God created the universe, everything that was made by his words, by simply saying, let there be, and things came into place. The Bible also tells us how much that we were created just like God. So it's kind of funny when Satan would tempt Eve about being like God if she eats this fruit. But that's our next story altogether. Jesus is the living word and he operated in the same way. He said things and things came to pass. He also commanded us to do the same thing because remember we were created in God's image and his likeness. So he tells us to say unto this mountain, be moved in faith and it will happen. Even the way that we are saved, if we confess with our mouths and believe with our hearts, it's all about faith, yes. But it has a lot to do also with what we say based upon that faith. I haven't forgotten about the tongue lashing. I'm going to a very familiar scripture. It's Isaiah chapter 54 verse 17. And we like to quote this all the time in the Christian community. But I want to point out something that we often miss. We like to see this when we're under attack or somebody doing us something bad and we say, no weapon formed against me shall prosper you know and we go down the line quoting that so these are the words of god isaiah is telling us the words of god so i'm going to pretend that i'm isaiah you pretend that you are you i hope it's not too much of a big task to pretend to be yourself but i'm going to point to myself when i'm referring to like the lord i'm going to point to you when i'm referring to you so i'm going to read it so isaiah chapter 54 verse 17 this is what it says, No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. And in case you're getting confused about the these and the thou, thee refers to you, thou refers to you as well. So if we look at it closely, we will see that God is telling us that no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue Anybody who wants to use their words to lash you, every tongue that rises up against you, it didn't say shall be condemned. And this is what we mix up. It doesn't say shall be condemned. It is not for you to, to hold on to the scripture, rock back in your hammock, and be all happy. Every tongue that rises up against you, you shall condemn. So the power is in your tongue as well. So therefore, you have the power to condemn these things that have been put up against you. So our tongue is to be used for tongue lashing, but against the enemy and the things that he has set up to bring us down. So God is giving us the permission and power to condemn whatever the enemy sends against us. So the enemy wants to send X, Y, Z, we have the power and authority to say, hey, X, Y, and Z, mm -mm, they can't walk. Go back to. And if you do it in faith, the power of God will follow. This is why it's so important for us to use our words wisely. Our words have power. We can be damaging our own selves if we confess the wrong things. So that's it. I'll see you in the next one. So remember to like this video, share it on your own page so that other people can see it. Subscribe to keep up to date with everything that's going on on the vlog and I'll see you in the next one.